Hi guys, my name is Roger, and I'm building a mid-engine supercar in the basement of my home. Let's take a look at what I've been working on this week. Well, yesterday I moved my uh, heater, this large wooden box here, out into my garage. You can see my car parked here. I'm using one of my garage bays to make the carbon fiber parts. This is where my CNC machine is and my table with all my carbon fiber supplies. You can see I have this mold sitting here. I'm going to lay up this mold with all of the carbon fiber and other components here in these rolls takes to make a part. And I'm gonna film this process so you can kind of see what all's involved in getting this mold ready to put in the oven here to finish. It usually takes me on a mold this size about, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half to cut all the pieces and get it all laid up and bagged and everything finished and ready to put in the oven. But I want to show you this process. So I'm gonna film this so you can see it. And then once it's ready, I'll probably back the car out of the garage here so I can get into the oven easily and uh, turn the oven on and bake this part. But uh, let's get busy getting this mold ready to make a part.
Well, that is what the process looks like for laying up a mold and getting everything ready to do the vacuum infusion process and actually make a part. And I am very inexperienced at this, so I'm sure I make it look harder and take longer than someone experienced actually does making this layup. But you can see what it looks like here. Several different layers, carbon fiber, the uh, flow net, the release cloth, the vacuum bagging, the clear bagging around the perimeter with all these excessive uh, pieces here to give it plenty of free bag to pull up tight in all the areas it needs to. And then the tubes, I've got one tube here for the epoxy to go into and then the two tubes here for the vacuum to hook to to pull a vacuum on the part. And I'm going to go ahead and back the car out, put this in the oven, and try to pull a vacuum on this. I think I'm going to have a leak here in this corner. I'll have to seal once it's in there, but I need to pull a vacuum to be sure and see exactly where the leak is. But uh, let's get started on that process and see if we can get a part made today.
Well, this week we managed to get both of these rear firewall pieces made and cut and are temporarily installed in the car uh, until we have some other pieces made and can trim these down to a better size. They are uh, not bad. They're closed for now. Um, let me show you these. You can see this one and see the edge of the other one over there across. They need to be cleaned up. They are still covered in wax. Well, they will glue to the floor of the car and this will be one big assembly of the entire inside tub but once all this is finished these will bolt across here with probably some uh, black oxide fasteners or something that won't be very visible and in the center here i'll need to cnc a pattern and make a part that bolts down the center and until I know exactly how wide this part's going to be and how it's going to fit, I'm not going to trim these. I'm, I've left these long intentionally, but a lot of this area will be cut off. And that way, when you remove this centerpiece, you'll have access to the belts and the hoses in the front of the engine for maintenance. But um, I still need to make this piece here that has the speaker and the phone charger in it. I still need to make the center console here that runs down the entire center of the car. But before I do either one of those, I'm going to make the front firewall piece next. And it just sits against the firewall or the front frame here all the way across, except for here where the HVAC unit is. It needs to come out and fit right up against the inside of this piece of aluminum. Very close tolerance and then curve back into the front firewall here to it touches the frame. And I need to get some real accurate measurements on that so that everything fits up perfect. And to do that, I'm going to have to remove everything here in the front of the uh, cockpit of the car. The uh, pedals, steering column, the HVAC unit, and all of that needs to come out so I can make some real accurate measurements here on this firewall and know exactly how this fits. The uh, carbon fiber firewall will bolt between the pedal assembly and the frame here. It'll get sandwiched up. And the same here, it'll get sandwiched up between the HVAC unit and the this mount here. So all of that needs to fit just perfect. And I think I'm going to stop the firewall. I'm going to come over just past this first angle here. And that'll be it for this piece. And then there'll be a secondary piece on both sides. It starts here and comes on around and caps this off because there's a lot of detail in that part that I don't think I'm going to be able to get in the uh, front firewall in one single mold. So I want to make that in... It'll be three pieces, It'll be a center, a left, and a right. But that's the next thing I'm going to do is remove all of this here, all of these components on the firewall so I can get in here and have access. But all of that will be in next week's video. And I'm going to wrap up here for this week. That was uh, two weeks of work here that you've seen. Um, did take a little time off for Thanksgiving. Enjoyed spending some time with the family for the holiday. But um, worked on the car many hours just to get these two pieces here. For the rear firewall made and installed and uh, we'll continue working on these interior components until eventually we'll have this interior completed and hopefully it'll look nice we'll see how it turns out but uh, that's going to be it for this week and i'll see you guys again in a week or two